हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस ब्रांड न्यू सेशन ऑन व्हाट इज एक्सएमएल बाय इंटेलिपाथ यूट्यूब टीम विद दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर वन ऑफ द वेज एप्लीकेशंस यूज टू कम्युनिकेट द डेटा बट बिफोर वी बिगिन मेक श्योर दैट यू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट फ्रॉम इंटेलिपाथ यूट्यूब चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेक यू गाइज थ्रू वर्ड्स इन इट फॉर यू सेक्शन विल बिगिन दिस सेशन बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज एक्सएमएल लेटर वी विल डिस्कस फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सएमएल नेक्स्ट we'll look into the advantages and disadvantages of xml and finally we'll take you through the real time demo of xml i hope i have made myself clear with the agenda so without wasting any time let's get started with this session first let's learn what xml is with the help of an example social interaction is an important aspect of human life we the humans seek social acceptance and conversation everywhere Imagine yourself can you spend a week without talking to anyone you cannot right because we cannot really contemplate the environment around us without communication we cannot gather data information without it let's say we have two people over here and this person wants to tell another person that his four friends are coming over to his place tonight he can put this data forward with the simple plain text right and the person sitting on the other side of the table will be able to process it Now think about the communication between machines. A machine can never understand the textual information, right? So how can two applications of machines can converse the data? Well, for that purpose, we are going to need well-structured, well-formatted and syntactical plus common rule-based data which a machine would be able to comprehend. Let's say Alex, Rachel, Mark and Scarlett are those friends and this machine right here wants to communicate this data with another machine first of all this machine will construct a tag named friends map and the end tag with slash mark that is slash friends map then inside the tag will create a tag named friend and then also a ending tag with slash mark now inside this tag will create a name tag where we will store the name of friend now similarly all other records of three remaining friends will be inserted into the list and now this file is completely processable by the machine the data formulated here is well formatted and structured right and this is what is termed as a valid xml xml stands for extensible markup language markup language because we are using tags and marks in formatting the content as you guys have seen in the previous example One more thing I want you guys to notice here is that you can use your own tags as we have used in previous example. The XML tags are not predefined as of HTML and they are not limited as well. For example, remember the friends map tag we used earlier? You can observe that these tags are extensible and probably that's why we call this language extensible markup language. Now as illustrated in above example, The XML is used to store and share data between two applications and the rules for this data transportation are highlighted in the W3C specification or the World Wide Web Consortium. One more benefit of XML is that it is not platform or technology or operating system dependent. It's completely tech independent way of storing, transporting and sharing the data. The XML file is both human and machine readable. Next up we'll explore the features of xml the first feature that we have talked about already is that xml is extensible and human readable it's not like assembly language or machine language that you won't be able to read it or rather process it it's a format that both humans and machines can understand next feature we have is xml preserves white spaces so inside a tag if you put extra space all of them will be actually preserved XML is increasingly simple to use as you can create tags yourself and there is no limitation on that front the implementation is easy since you can easily segregate data into different classes and types the sole purpose of XML is to store and transport the data so it adds an extra layer that separates data from HTML remember the HTML is only responsible for presenting the data and XML will communicate that data with ease More importantly you can say that xml is self descriptive in nature i mean revisit the previous example we covered 
Can't you contemplate that information we are trying to communicate with the format? You can, right? The ability of creating undefined tags all by yourself adds that extra bit of descriptiveness. You can visualize what data is getting communicated easily just by iterating through an XML file. Moving ahead, let's look at few advantages of XML. The first one is that XML is platform independent. Upgrading to a new system, hardware or software is always time consuming. Large amounts of data must be converted and in the process incompatible data is often lost. But when it comes to XML, data is stored in text format. This makes it easier to expand or upgrade to new operating systems, new applications or new browsers without losing any sort of data. Then we have XML supports Unicode. Unicode is basically a numeric representation standard for each character included in storage file. This adds that extra bit of agility into XML. Third up is data stored and transported using XML can be changed at any point of time. If you have transported some false data, XML allows you to update it at any point of time. Then we have XML is completely compatible with Java and 100% portable. In fact, it is compatible with languages such as PHP and .NET. We also mentioned that XML simplifies data sharing between various systems. Finally, we have XML allows validation using DTD and schema. If we talk about DTD or document type definition, it is the very older version of XML where the definition of the schema will be achieved. On that note, let's explore a few limitations of XML. The first one is that XML is verbose and redundant compared to JSON. Because JSON is really a modern day language used everywhere nowadays. It's comparatively easier and used in case of simple applications. However, XML is still used for intercommunication of complex applications. That's why in the current market, presence of XML is unavoidable. The next and more concerning limitation of XML is that it has high storage and transportation cost for large volumes of data. When you send some information in the form of XML, you'll need some additional parsers which will parse the data. And for that purpose, it requires more memory and storage too. Then we have XML doesn't support arrays. It only supports the data in string format. Also, XML file sizes are usually very large due to their verbose nature. These are few limitations of XML. Now moving ahead, we'll create an XML file in real time to sort of show you the data formatting and how it is getting gathered. For this purpose, we are going to use VS Code. In VS Code, we have multiple extensions. So we'll go to the extension shortcuts and we'll search for an XML extension. Now here, we'll get multiple extensions. Out of all these extensions, we'll choose this XML format extension and we'll install it. Now it has been installed, so we'll go to the file section and we'll create new XML file with name as friends. Now this XML file has been created. Now next we'll create a tag named as friends map. We'll also create an ending tag with slash mark for the same. Now next, we'll create one more tag named as friends and we'll also create an ending tag for same with slash mark. Now inside this, we'll create a friend tag and also the ending tag for same. Now here, we'll store two records that is first name and last name. For both of these tags, we'll create the end tags. Now here, the first friend was Alex, so we'll enter name Alex and last name as Adams. Now we'll copy this format and we'll paste it here. Again similarly, paste and paste. Now we have records for four friends. So the second friend was Rachel. Let's give her surname as Kafka. 
then we had mark and finally we had scarlet now as you guys can see this xml file is not in proper format so let's do the formatting here now here you can see that friend tags are all aligned as well as all other tags such as friends and friends map has also been aligned there is one more tool we have online which is very good to visualize xml formatting so let's go online and search for that tool we'll search xml formatter and we'll choose this best xml formatter and xml beautifier by jsonformatter.org now here what we'll do is we'll paste our xml file and there are multiple formats that we can play with there is format slash beautify which will arrange our text in formatted manner then there is one more feature named as xml tree with this xml tree you guys can see that there is one main function that is friends map inside this we have friends inside friends we have four entries that are alex adams then rachel kafka and scarlet larusso i hope also there is one more feature which can convert your xml file into the json file so here is the json format for our xml input that's all we have for this session we hope the session was informative and exciting if you have any queries about the concept covered in this video then put them in the comment box below our 24 by 7 team of experts will be happy to resolve all of your queries if you like this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss an interesting update from intellipad just a quick info guys intellipad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati the course link of which is given in the description below